What's up you guys, it's DeepOA and today I'm going to show you how to give this pop art effect to your photos in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So this is the image to which I'll be giving the pop art effect. Now if you want to follow along the tutorial then you already know the drill, links in the description below. So let's first start by rescaling this image. So for that go to image and then select the option as image size. And then you need to make sure that the link icon has been checked so that the aspect ratio between the height and the width is maintained. After that you need to set the width as around 1920 pixels and then click on OK. And then let me just make the image fit into the document. And then we need to create a duplicate of this image, so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And now using quick selection tool you can make the selection of the model in the image but since we don't require a perfect selection I'm going to be a bit lazy over here and I'm going ahead with the select subject option which is default in Photoshop. So as you can see Photoshop's algorithm has done a pretty good job but as you can see it has selected a bit extra over here and we need to deselect it. Now in order to deselect a selection all you need to do is click on the minus icon over here now using the brush tool you can hover over the areas where you want to deselect. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. And then I will deselect this portion as well so let me just do that. Now again if you want to make a selection then all you need to do is select the plus brush icon and then using that brush you can again make the selection. So now as you can see our selection is looking proper. After that we need to click on add layer mask icon which will keep the only portion of the image which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the image. Now let me just hide this background layer by clicking on the icon. So now we have separated the model from the background. Now the next thing we need to do is fill the background with that of a white color. So for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. After that select the color as white and then click on OK. And then make the mask of the model image layer active by clicking on it. And then right click on the mask and then select the option as apply layer mask. Now we need to convert this model image to that of a black and white image. So for that go to image and then adjustments and then select the option as black and white. After that keep the settings as default and then click on OK. Now we need to add some contrast to this image so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as brightness and contrast. After that click on create clipping mask icon so that it only affects one layer below it. And then set the contrast according to your image I am setting the contrast to maximum. After that your image should look something like this. Now let me just show you the before and after by clicking on the icon. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now let's add some more contrast over here. So for that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and now this time select the curves option. And then again click on create clipping mask icon so that it only affects one layer below it. Now select white dropper tool. Now using the white dropper tool you need to click on the image where that portion should ideally have been white. So as you can see the frames of the spectaculars should ideally have been white. After that you need to make sure that your sample size is also set to 5x5 or 3x3 average and not to point sample. So let me just select 5x5 average. Now using the white dropper tool let me just click on the frames over here. After that you need to select the black dropper tool. Now using the black dropper tool you need to click on the image which ideally should have been black. So as you can see this glasses of the spectacular should ideally have been black. So let me just click over there. Now let me just show you the before and after of this curves layer. So for that clicking on the icon. So this was the before and now this is the after. Now after that we need to merge all these three layers into a single layer. So for that press shift and then click on the layer one which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between. Now you need to right click on any of the layers and then select the option as convert to smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. And now we need to create a duplicate of this smart object layer so for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then let me just rename the top layer as edges and the bottom layer as model. After that you can hide the edges layer by clicking on the icon. So now let's start with the creation of the half tone effect. So for that you need to make sure that your foreground and the background color are set to black and white respectively. And if they are not then all you need to do is press the D key of your keyboard and your foreground color will be set to black color and the background color will be set to white color. After that you need to go to filter and then select the option as filter gallery. 
Now let me just make this image fit into the document. After that you need to expand the sketch folder and then select the option as half tone pattern. And then you need to set the size as 2, contrast as 40 and pattern type as dot. After applying this half tone pattern your image should look something like this. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see the half tone pattern has been applied but we need to remove the dots from some of the areas in order to make it look more better. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as exposure and then click on create clipping mask icon. After that you can set the exposure as 3. After that you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this exposure layer. So for that clicking on the icon. So this was the before and now this is the after. So now the dots have been reduced but as you can see there are still some small small dots over here and there. So let's just reduce that as well. So for that make the model layer active by clicking on it and then click on add layer mask icon. After that select brush tool and then select the brush as soft round. After that make sure that the opacity and the flow is set to 100% and then set the foreground color as black and then click on OK. And then using the brush tool you can hover over the areas where you want to remove the dots. You can increase and decrease the size of the brush using the square bracket keys of your keyboard. So now a half tone effect has been applied properly but as you can see the edges of the model look a bit dull over here. Now let's solve that thing so for that make the edges layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the checkbox. After that go to filter and then stylize and then select the option as find edges. Now we only need to keep the black portion of the image and hide the white portion of it so for that change the blend mode of this layer to multiply. Now although the edges effects gives back some of the edges of the image but it adds some noise along with it. Now we need to remove those noise so for that click on add layer mask icon and then using the brush tool you need to hover over the areas where you want to remove it. So now I'm doing it quickly over here because of the video but you can take your own time and do it more properly. Now the final step we need to do is add some color over here. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient map. After that click on the gradient option. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that double click on the left bottom color stop which will give you a pop up in order to set the color and then set the color as follows 4C 07 7B and then click on OK. After that double click on the right bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 85 F9 D2 and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK. So now this is looking proper. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. Now I created one more image as well so let me just show it to you. Now this image was also created using the same steps I've just mentioned. I've just changed the gradient over here. Now if you want to set this gradient then let me just show you the color code. So for that clicking on the gradient map and then you can set the color of the left bottom color stop as follows 301921 and then click on OK and then set the color of the right bottom color stop as follows. ED CF 36 and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK. So yeah that's it guys I hope you guys like this video on how to give this color pop effect to your photos in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the youtube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.